Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hopefully you were able to check out the first part of my little series here on Telfar. I'm not sure if it will be two or three parts, but this is part two. So if you have not yet, please go check out the history or information on who Telfar is in my first video. This video I'm going to be unboxing my Telfar purchases and if I have time I will tell you a little bit more about tips and tricks on how to secure your own Telfar bag. Otherwise I will include that in a third video in this series if need be. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you know when I post my next video. Telfar actually started his line in 2005. He created the shopping bag that we're gonna talk about today in fall 2014, but he did not expand the collection until 2017 when he won the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund. The Telfar shopping bag has been dubbed the It Bag of 2020 and possibly the decade's most important fashion accessory by many fashion publications. So as a true handbag collector myself, my collection would not be complete without this It Bag in it. The Telfar shopping bag comes in three sizes, small for $150, medium for $202, and large for $257. The bags are not real leather, they are made of vegan leather and they are currently available in 20 colors on the Telfar website. However, they are all sold out. So let's talk about how I got my first bag the small Telfar shopping bag. So in August 2020 is when Telfar released his bag security program. He gave any and all customers a 24 hour opportunity to pre-order the bag. As soon as he collected all of the orders that came through, he put those bags into production for about a five month lead time and they were to be delivered by January. So I placed my order in the bag security program on August 19th and my bag was delivered on December 16th. I actually have not opened it to this point because I've been super busy with a lot of things going on. I also have had nowhere to go and nowhere to wear it. So I've been saving it to film this video so that you guys could see my first reactions, my initial reactions to this bag from the get go and I wanted to make it a real official unboxing. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is the first bag that I order. I'm covering up my address here, but you can see that it says Telfar there. It comes in this thin, compact box. And this is the small Telfar shopping bag, which is the first bag that I purchased from this brand. I'm to go ahead and get my scissors out. Cut this bad boy open. Okay, all right, here we go. Open the flap there like that. And here we go. That is how is it, it is packaged. So it is folded up here in a plastic bag. No extra bubble wrap or tissue paper in the box, just secured in this plastic bag. Um, so you'll see here on the bag, it has the suffocation warning label and then it has the UPC label here that says, small shopper, I'll make the color a surprise for you guys. So, Ziploc slider bag there. Let's take it out. On the front of the bag, you have the Telfar logo here, which is a T and a C for Telfar Clemens. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that the logo was com created by one of his childhood teachers that made monograms for everyone in the class and then it became his logo for his brand. All right, so you've got a nice, actually a nice little dust bag here with these very sturdy, thick um, drawstring cords here. Let's pull it out. There you go, you can get a sneak peek there. It is protected by a piece of cardboard and you've got paper taped here and paper taped here around the handle. So let's go ahead and open it. There you go. Okay. There you go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first impressions, I love this color. It is like, 
a very baby pink color. It almost has like purplish tones to it, but it's definitely like a traditional baby pink bubblegum pink. Again, you have the Telfar logo, T and C, uh, embossed on the front of the bag. It is pretty seamless. There is no stitching around it. It is just embossed. Super thick and sturdy, actually. Um, again, you've got the paper around the strap here. Let's undo that. Okay. There is the long crossbody strap. So these bags come with a long crossbody strap and a short top handle strap. Um, I think one of the bigger complaints about this bag is that this strap is not removable. So in the future, if Telfar launches this bag with a removable strap, it, people will go crazy for it. I'm sure he's got many iterations of this bag in the works. All right, so it comes folded like this. We are going to unfold it. It's surprisingly sturdy, guys. So I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. I didn't know what to expect, but I will tell you, um, regardless of the brand or the designer, the words vegan leather scare me a little bit because usually vegan leather can feel really plasticky and rubbery. This actually feels pretty smooth and it is not sticky, which is sometimes the case for vegan leather. Um, it also feels pretty sturdy and thick in comparison to what I thought it would be um, for how I've seen the bag wear over time. It can get like a little slouchy, which is common for all bags. So you got the anti-mold chip here and then you've got this Telfar label. So it's a nice thick cardstock again with the UPC code there. Uh, it says small shopper bubble gum. Here's another first impression. I will tell you this is I think smaller than I expected visually in the pictures. I think I expected it to be maybe like two inches bigger. It is pretty small, but it is super cute guys. Pink is my favorite color. I figured if I was going to have this bag sitting on the shelf of my future dream handbag closet, this would be an adorable little bag to have in my collection. So I'm super excited I got this color. Um, I think one of the other colors I'm really interested in are two of them are the light blue, the pool blue, and then the orange is really bright and really cute. So if I were to get those, I would definitely probably get the small because I think it's like a cute pop of color to go with your outfit. And then if I were to get the medium, I think I would go with black or gray for like everyday use. But anyways, let's look inside the bag. So it's got this really mini little magnetic closure here. And then inside it's got the Telfar label, which is, right here and it's sort of folded over on itself there. This is obviously an example of a real Telfar label. And then inside there is a little plastic tag. Let me see if I can pull it out. That says Telfar established 2005 NYC. It's 100% polyester made in China. Honestly guys, a lot of lower price point contemporary brands are made in China, so that is not abnormal. Overall, I would say this bag has good structure to it, honestly. I think it would definitely wear over time, but it's almost so thick and structured that it's folding over a little. Let's look at stitching. Looks good. You know, it's definitely machine made. Um, yeah, I would say overall guys, I'm pretty impressed with this as far as first impressions for a lower price point contemporary designer bag. All right, let's see what fits inside. Okay, first things at first, um, iPhone plus, let's see if this fits long ways. It does. No problem, it fits horizontally in the bag. Then I've got hand sanitizer. I've got a card case, slide that in. I've got lip gloss and lip liner, no problem. Hair clip for 
when I'm annoyed with my hair. And then car keys, throwing them in there. Oh, two more things. Got a plain black face mask and a AirPod. So there you go. That is the bag filled up. Everything shoved in there, no problem. Decent amount of stuff that you could wear for a night out or to run a quick errand. I do think even just um, filling this bag, these long straps do kind of get in the way. So I'm gonna have to agree with everybody that I do wish that they were removable, detachable, and adjustable even so that I could get a little more length out of them. So overall, some of the things that I would say are cons about the bag are that this strap is not detachable. I think that would be a great feature if the strap was detachable and also if Telfar made unique strap options that people could interchange, that would be really fun. The lining inside is not super tight. It's a little baggy, which you can see there. Um, and sometimes loose lining bothers me slightly. Um, and then I would also say that the bag will likely lose its shape over time, but that is consistent with any handbag really guys, even leather or non-leather. You guys have seen people who use and abuse their Birkins. They lose their shape. They get really slouchy over time. My Celine luggage tote, you know, gets really slouchy over time. I've done my best to maintain its shape. And if you want to maintain any bag's shape, you have to stuff it properly when you're not using it and sort of make sure that you're taking care of that bag. Overall, I think this bag is super cute. I think there are so many great color options and I think for any handbag collector, you should definitely have this bag in your collection. Next here, I have the medium size Telfar bag that I'm gonna open for you. So for this bag, my best friend actually, we were texting and she really wanted to get a Telfar bag. And I told her a few tips and tricks for how to get it, but then when they announced that they were doing a restock on the Olive, I told her that I would try to assist her in getting the bag. So I was super happy that I could get this bag for her and she was super excited. We were both online at the exact same time trying to get it. But for some reason, she was not able to and I was. All right, let's go ahead and unbox the medium. Same um, kind of box as the small, just a little bigger. So there you go. Again, it is folded and packed in a plastic bag with no extra bubble wrap or um, paper. It fits in there perfectly, which is a great uh, shipping and packaging strategy. You've got the big plastic bag around it, which of course keeps helps to keep the dust bag itself clean. Uh, you've got the big Telfar logo on the front of the bag. And then let's go ahead and open this up. Brittany, if you're watching, then you're watching me unbox your bag. <laughs> You've got the white dust bag, Telfar logo on it. Don't worry, I will package it all back up nice when I send it to you. Okay. This is the beautiful olive green colorway. Wow, guys. This color is even prettier than I expected in person. So it comes up packaged the same way with the paper around the handle, which is actually already starting to rip. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm unboxing it anyway. So there you go. So again, you've got the two handle options. This handle is much thicker than the small. I will show you a comparison. So when you open the medium bag, there is one zipper inside interior pocket on it. So again, this bag is decently structured and sturdy. You can see that like the sides, they don't flap or outward. They actually flap inward. Uh, and I would say that for vegan leather, this is a decently structured bag. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how much structure it does have because I did expect it to be a lot more slouchy in person. So this is a decent size bag. Let me pull up the measurements. So I've got the measurements here. The medium bag is 10 and three quarter inches tall, 
15 inches wide and five inches deep. The drop on all of the long straps is 21 inches and that is consistent through all the sizes. So in comparison, the small is very small. It is four and three quarter inches in height. It is six and five eighths in width and three and one eighth in depth. So there you go, the comparison of the small versus medium. If you are looking for a work bag to hold a laptop, the medium is going to be perfect for you for a 13 to 15 inch laptop. The large guys is huge. Let me give you the measurement. It is 14 and a quarter inches tall, 19 and a quarter inches wide, and eight inches deep. So that is like a weekend bag. You could take a lot of stuff in there for weekend travel, staying the night somewhere. You could really pack it in there. I would suggest the medium for a work bag, for a mom bag. Um, I think you could get a lot of use out of this. And what I love about lower price point for contemporary designer brands is that you can sort of abuse it a little more and not have to worry about the fact that you are banging up your thousand dollar bag. In this case, it's a $202 bag for the medium and it is $150 for this small. I think that that's still expensive for a bag for a lot of people. You can obviously buy a tote bag for $50, but I will say that I am pleasantly surprised by the construction and the materials used for this bag. I also love the colors. Inside, uh, the pocket has a YKK zipper and it is easy to open and close, so no issues there. You've got the same label in there as the small, which is this sort of folded over Telfar logo, and then in the bottom here, you've got that same Telfar established 2005 made in China tag. Let me also show you the comparison of the thickness of the handles, so you can see that on the small, they're a lot thinner, than on the medium there, which makes sense because thick handles would look a little strange on this bag. So yeah, please let me know down in the comments what questions you have about these bags and I would love to answer them for you. If you are looking for a workhorse bag, I would definitely go for that medium. I myself am considering a medium, I think, in the gray or black color as an everyday bag that I could use in all weather. I do wanna say something great about vegan leather or faux leather is that you can use it in lots of different weather, climates, rain, snow, etc and you can clean it up a little easier. We'll have to put that to the test and see sort of if this gets dirty over time, but especially if you get the darker colors, I would love to maybe get a medium to use as my diaper bag or my workhorse bag that I wouldn't be worried about taking it out in the snow or rain and having it get dirty or whatever. This bag is all about inclusivity. You can be any gender to wear this bag. It is genderless, it is unisex. So if you are looking for a great tote bag, small or large, go ahead and check out the Telfar website and pay attention to when those restocks are happening so that you can try to get a bag of your own. Please comment down below what you think about the Telfar bag. Have you bought one? What colors do you own or what colors are you interested in owning? And if you would like some tips and tricks on how to secure a Telfar bag of your own from the Telfar website, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because my next video will provide you all the details on how I got the medium olive tote. Thank you all for watching. If you're here to the end, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.